people to the house. Thank you, sir. Perfect. Um, I call Paul Eagle. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, it's certainly a pleasure to have the final speaking slot uh, for the local electoral matters bill uh, this evening. And can I just start by uh, acknowledging uh, the minister, the honourable Nanaya Mahuta, uh, for her passion in this sector, uh, and but also for. Uh, the start of, um, I guess, a suite of reforms, minor or otherwise, uh, that are focused on assisting local government. And it's certainly a pleasure uh, to know uh, that this is the second uh, piece of work after the four well-beings that have been um, amended. However small, uh, I believe this, this will have um, far-reaching positive outcomes. And, um, I want to thank members of the opposition first and foremost, those who have been uh, a part of developing this, but also um, for their speeches. Even though right at the beginning I was a bit nervous, I've seen all, all of the speeches, and I was a bit nervous that the member for Nelson was getting a little hysterical around what this bill was about. So it was a pleasure to see those who were in local government uh, speaking this afternoon and this evening on the bill saying, yes, we're going to support it. We're going to take uh, to acknowledge them some of the work they did, uh, and uh, this government will, will certainly finish off. I want to acknowledge also uh, Local Government New Zealand and Solgum, the Society of Local Government Managers, who um, really are our, uh, the interface between central and local government. It's always hard uh, hauling together local government into, into a room and saying, hey, what do you think? Because that you isn't a unified voice at, at all times. I, want just, I just want to start by reflecting on the Act itself. And when you look carefully, uh, it certainly does talk about postal voting. And uh, for those <clears throat> who have, look, we've heard it this evening where uh, several members have talked about their personal experiences about that and everything from not having a, a, I guess a post box in your local street or neighbourhood anymore to be able to post the form to, uh, uh, to, to others who reflected on possible fraud about people being able to take uh, the voting papers out of a letterbox, uh, sign them away for the candidate they'd like to see in uh, and, and find the post office or post box to be able to post the uh, form off. And one of the improvements that I thought was great at the last local uh, government elections was the ability to do some advance voting. Uh, so sometimes the practice defies the act and produces something that's decent and uh, practical. Polling booth voting, the, the, the act also talks about that. And this is where others have, 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 have talked about the uh, experiences that one has when they're in the local government elections and piling through that handbook of, uh, of, of biographies, the, the, the best written biographies you'll ever read, uh, because I know that candidates take a long, long time to put them together. Uh, but when it comes to uh, central government, uh, you're back to the advance voting, yes, but you're looking for the orange uh, person uh, to find your polling booth and away you go. And many still uh, treasure the experience of being able to, um, to, to really, uh, I guess, uh, practice their, their right, their democratic right to be able to vote. And they save up their big moment and still physically uh, walk into the uh, polling booth and make the vote. They did reduce. I know uh, when I stood, I was uh, not struggling to find them, but I certainly noticed a, a reduction in, in polling booths around too. And so I think really the legislation envisaged and made provision for um, other voting methods. So it's really only natural that methods such as uh, electronic or online voting were always going to, to arrive uh, for people to consider. And 
I think it really picks up on, on those councils. There are several who, who put their hand up uh, <coughs> to trial it, and that didn't go ahead. I actually uh, put my hand up to say no to the uh, trial that the, that the Wellington City Council put before elected members because I was not confident that, uh, that, the, that the trial uh, would be robust enough. And several of you have talked about the great thing with, with what's being proposed is that this trial will be able to develop uh, regulations from that. We will be able to address the security issues. Uh, but also uh, we will be able to ensure um, that, the, that the samples, that those local bodies who choose to implement it can bring that work back and say, hey, this is what worked and this is what didn't work. Because I was saying to um, Honourable Ron Mark that one of my nervousnesses about uh, the trial and the reason I voted no then was because if it went wrong, I was, I was very nervous that the capital city of this country uh, would be known and Googled away, and despite the great things in this city and region, it would be known for one thing only, and that was the corrupt or failed local council election of 2016. So, look, it didn't go ahead. Um, I won't say the techies were right, but they certainly had their, their voice heard to say, hey, um, not right now. The time is right now because the process for doing this has changed and therefore I think we will see the learnings implemented. I love hearing stats uh, and we heard the previous uh, speaker talk them through and, they, and, and those are reality uh, because it is 41% here in the capital city. You would have thought that the political um, arousal that this place gives uh, uh, it, its residents and visitors would mean that more people would vote. But actually, no, it's no better. But can I say I, I admire that little pocket of the Rongatai electorate which stands tall. And, uh, and uh, thanks to uh, the member who said it's got the highest voting population. There is only 600 people on that little wee island. But nonetheless, those voters are important. And I'd just like them to swing a little more to me next time. But... Um, there's still a few more years and a few more votes, uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, that I will be able to woo them in my several trips down um, and, uh, and, uh, and bring back not only fish and, and other seafood, but votes as well, hopefully. So, um, I'm still ticking here, there we are. Um, and I think what we'll see from uh, the, the, the trial, and one, one of the things that, that I do pick up from the trial is um, a real enthusiasm, because it's tinged with that comment that lots of people have made too, that there's no silver bullet. Because part of this is not only about modernising uh, the voting system, it's also about improving civic participation and that democratic right, which Minister Mahuta made that clear in her opening speech right at the start. That's what underpins this piece of work and is driving the outcome from this uh, bill uh, going through the House. I think it's, it, it's really key to note, actually, that it may, uh, this may spark a, the, the suite of initiatives through our education system that I think is needed that, will, that should complement um, the actual experience of voting. And once we see that, um, uh, and the successes, uh, I think, will see this become the norm. I'm certainly looking forward to uh, my local council, uh, maybe even using the ward that I live in. It is uh, full of controversy and residents that love speaking out about everything from, I don't know, cycleways and anything else that they can get their teeth into. And, and um, don't mention the C word. Um, but look, it certainly would be a tool, and in fact they have used that tool now in, uh, in other projects, such as cycleways, um, to get uh, a, 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 a steer on where to go. Madam Speaker, this, this, is a, this will be uh, an, uh, a, a piece of work that when implemented uh, at the next local government elections will um, will really define the future of how I think Kiwis will vote and 
It's a pleasure to uh, commend the bill. Kia ora. Kia ora. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Local Electoral Matters Bill, first reading. The question is that the Local Electoral Matters Bill be considered by the Justice Committee. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Call on Government Orders of the Day, numbers three to five. Brokering weapons.